So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the P0442 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is the Nissan P0442 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission EVAP system, small leak detected. And what does this mean? Well, modern cars have an EVAP system that helps contain all the gas vapors inside the gas tank and they get sent back to the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And the onboard computer seen a problem with this, so it'd be troubleshooting the why. And some of the possible causes, well, it could be a bad gas cap, could be an EVAP leak, could be the charcoal canister or vent valve, could be the purge valve, might be a bad sensor, and possibly the wiring. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is go examine the gas cap since the whole evap system needs to go into a slight vacuum in order to work properly and the gas cap is a part of this and it needs to seal up for it to work correctly so go and examine the gas cap be sure that it looks good there's no cracks like the seal looks like it's still intact things like this if it looks bad it's probably a good idea to go ahead and replace it if you do replace the gas cap be sure to get an oem original one for your particular nissan since third-party aftermarket gas caps can sometimes cause issues so it's always a good idea to get the original gas cap for your particular nissan year and make and so if you check the gas cap and that looks good and there's no issues there and you still can't get this code to clear then there's going to be a couple of components to check out and the basics of what's going on with the evap system is it has a hose and it leaves the gas tank it carries the vapors up and around and the first thing it runs into is a charcoal canister and what this does is help store the gas vapors when the engine's not running and it also have a component called the vent valve solenoid and this can't be part of the charcoal canister or it can't be separate so just keep that in mind quite commonly it is a part of it but it can also sometimes be separate and after the charcoal canister the hose goes on up and goes to the top of the engine where it has a purge valve solenoid and this opens when the engine's running so the vapors go into the engine to get burnt off and then it closes when the engine's off so that the gas vapors don't escape and so the first thing to do is go check out this purge valve solenoid and it'll be located up on top of the engine somewhere it'll have two hoses going to it and a wiring harness and so check it out be sure to check out this wiring harness that goes to it that is all plugged in good that there's no issues there because anything wrong with the wiring could cause the same symptoms as a bad purge valve. So you want to check that out. If it's not getting no power, be aware that this is on a fuse. So check for any blowing fuses if you're not getting no power to it. But check out these hoses going around and be sure there's no leaks inside of any of these hoses that they're connected good. There's no cracks or anything like this or anything where it could possibly leak. And there is some different tests you could do on the purge valve if you wanted to, to, to be sure that it's working right. But, but the next thing to do is go check out the purge valve, be sure it's working properly and there's no leaks. And so if the purge valve all looks good, then the next thing to go and check out is going to be the charcoal canister. And it's going to be located up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. And quite commonly, it also has the vent valve on it. It can be separate sometimes, so keep that in mind, depending on the year of the Nissan. But quite commonly, it's a part of the charcoal canister. So you want to go check it out. Be sure to check out all these hoses. There's no leaks going on. Be sure everything's connected good. The wiring and all that looks good. And there's some different tests you could run on it for the charcoal canister. And the main one is to check out this vent valve right here. And if you have a good OBD2 scan tool, they usually have an option inside of there where you can enable or disable the vent valve and you'll be able to hear it click when you enable or disable it and that usually means that it's working and there's some other tests you can also run on it but the next thing to go do would be to check out this charcoal canister and this vent valve and be sure everything's working correctly and that there's no leaks going on or anything like that and so if you check that out if you check out the purge valve you checked out this charcoal canister and this vent valve and that all looks good that there's no issues going on there then very likely there is a leak somewhere inside of one of these hoses that runs around to everything. One thing to keep in mind is that there's also a sensor somewhere inside of this whole system and it's monitoring what's going on and it's sending data back to the onboard computer. So if it goes bad, then there might not be a problem in the system, but the onboard computer is getting bad data. So it thinks that there is. So that's something to keep in mind. The sensor can be located differently. Sometimes it's on the fuel pump. Sometimes it's over by the charcoal canister. Again, it can vary depending on the year, but that is something to keep in mind about the sensor and you can go and test that if you wanted to. But at this point, very likely there is a leak somewhere inside of one of these hoses it goes around to everything so if you took it to a mechanic what they would do is they would hook it up to a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the evap system and wherever the smoke came out they would know where the leaks at and they'd be able to go and fix it and so very likely you're not going to have a smoke machine but what you can do is go back to all these hoses up at the purge valve all the way down to the charcoal canister all the way around to the gas tank and just examine them really closely check for any cracks or any cuts or anything like this because at this point very likely one of these hoses is leaking somewhere and it, it'll have to be found and so that's basically it i just want to give a real quick brief overview of how to go about fixing a nissan with the p0442 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day